In recent news, Rick Ross had been renting out his 54,000 square foot Atlanta Mega Mansion as a set for the new Coming to America sequel. It turns out the opulent 109 room estate made for the perfect palace in Zamunda, the fictional country from the film. While that was going on, Ross just dropped $3.5 million in cash to return to his Florida roots and buy another mansion that used to belong to former NBA star Amar Studemeyer. Today we're going to check out both of Rick Ross's epic properties. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. We all know Rick Ross is a rapper, songwriter, entrepreneur and record executive who blew up after releasing the track Hustlin, then signing a multi-million dollar deal with Jay-Z and Def Jam. These days, Ross has his own record label, Maybach Music Group, and has amassed himself an estimated net worth of $40 million or more. That being said, he's one of the wealthiest in the rap game and has afforded himself more than one lavish property. His main one, nearly as big as the White House itself. This estate, known as Villa Vittoriosa, has a celebrity pedigree considering it was built back in 1994 for boxing champ Evander Holyfield prior to Rick getting his hands on it. Not only does Ross call this palace home as a side hustle, he rents the premises out for filming, charging production companies up to $2.75 million for shoots. More recently, it's acted as the Luxemunden Palace where Akeem lives with his family in Coming to America 2, starring Eddie Murphy. As it turns out, the original Coming to America is Ross's fave comedy, so having the sequel filmed at his abode was more than just income. Rick also used this as an excuse to buy himself a new property in Florida while his main home was being used in the film. And this multi-million dollar single story estate is super impressive as well. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. While we did a house tour on Rick Ross in the past, it was time for an update since we'll be seeing his main monster mansion in Coming to America, and he also just bought a brand new spot in the Sunshine States. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about their outfits or purchases? We recently started a new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and expensive items. Join us and be sure to subscribe. Most recently, in what seems to be a Valentine's Day weekend gift to herself, Summer has yet another big car to add to her driveway. While it may seem more practical, her new designer SUV was far from cheap. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. First, let's check out his main mansion, also known as Villa Vittoriosa, meaning the victory. This home formerly belonged to heavyweight boxing champ Evander Holyfield, who originally had it built in 1994, and it boasts European influence and contemporary mixed with timeless architecture. Ross purchased the mansion in 2014 for $5.8 million after it had fallen into foreclosure, so it was reportedly quite the steal. Located in Fayetteville, Georgia, Rick lives only about 15 miles from downtown Atlanta, and his estate is said to be the biggest single family residence in all of Georgia, with a 235 acre lot and massive 54,000 square foot mansion. The home has 109 rooms, enough to get lost in, and it's only 1,000 square feet less than the White House in size. No wonder film crews want to rent Rick's home out. The long awaited sequel to the 1988 comedy classic, Coming to America, was the latest movie to utilize a luxurious pad, and it helped to create the fictional estate that lovable Zambundan royal Akeem, played by Eddie Murphy, calls home. The the movie made extensive use of Ross's mansion, taking advantage of seven rooms on the premises, including a second floor bedroom as Akeem and Lisa's royal suite, which the crew decked out in regal curtains, screens, and a canopy bed. The mansion's dining room also played itself in the movie, hosting an awkward family dinner, and the space was also set up with regal decorations, including a huge table that Ross was able to keep. Furthermore, other spaces that Rick's home used in the movie include Lavelle's bedroom, Bedroom, the Royal Study, and King Jaffe Dropper's Suite. The entryway in Rick's home was also used in Coming to America, but it just served as the central stairwell where family members often met up. Rick's luxury home is full of upscale amenities fit for a king or a fictitious royal family of Zamunda, including a 135 seat movie theater and dining room with 100 guest capacity, all surrounded by amazing outdoor features to match. The grounds of the Ross estate include a pond, a horse barn, and a 4,000 
thousand square foot guest house. Not to mention one of the property's pools, the outdoor one, which holds 350,000 gallons of water, makes it one of the biggest private pools in all of the USA. The other pool is located indoors for when it's too chilly to take a dip outside. And other highlights here include a bowling alley, boxing gym, and recording studio. Rick's mega mansion boasts 12 bedrooms and 21 bathrooms, and his top of the line master suite has a walk in closet and dressing room, as well as a spa style ensuite with a jacuzzi tub surrounded by pillars. Other spaces in the home include a large ballroom, a great room with floor to ceiling windows and chandelier, and of course, more common spaces from the kitchen to the family rooms. The front driveway has a center fountain with landscaping and embellished with an R for Ross's initials, so it's the first thing you see. Finally, the premises offers even more sports related amenities on the grounds, like a softball field complete with lights and a scoreboard, a handball court, and a basketball court. At least Ross makes a pretty profit when he allows crews to film on his property, charging up to $2.75 million for shoots. Location managers even have to pay to scout the place like Rick stated on Instagram. It's not free to come check out the estate. 20 people are wanting to see it a day every day, so what we do is charge people to come look at it and there's still 18 people that want to come a day. Ross's most recent property purchase is also impressive and not only because it too has a celebrity history, but because of the record breaking turnaround time. Rick, who's a Miami native, spent $3.5 million in cash for former NBA all-star Amar Studemeyer's Florida mansion that closed in just four days. This was the fastest closing in the history of the gated community where the mansion is located, Southwest Ranches, a celebrity studded Miami suburb with former residents like The Rock and Reggie Wayne. A gated driveway leads up to one of the most notable features of the mansion's exterior, the port cochere, or a covered entryway like those you see at a hotel or resort. Rick's new property spans 2.35 acres of land, and while the home itself is only a single story, it spans 7,361 square feet with four beds and five and a half baths. At the entrance, heavy glass doors open to an Italian marble foyer with towering ceilings, and when you walk in, there's a direct view through the living room windows to the gorgeous backyard. Rick's Florida home is full of natural light and views of greenery and palm trees, as well as 10 foot ceilings. One of Rick's fave features of the home was the sleek gray walk-in closet with backlights, velvet lining, and a sliding ladder, which he's already dubbed the boss boutique. The master suite here has a marble bathroom as well. But there's more to the mansion than the master closet. There's a living room with vaulted ceilings, an opulent chandelier and wet bar, while the chef's kitchen boasts four ovens and two dishwashers. The kitchen is attached to another family room with inset custom shelves, and elsewhere there's two offices, another space with a pool table, gym, and a yoga room, which also has a chandelier overhead. Rick's new home even has a hidden nine-seat movie theater located behind two custom cabinet doors, decked out in red carpet, plush leather seats, and wood trim. Outside, the estate offers more amenities, like a pool with a slide and waterfall, as well as a sprawling surrounding deck and summer kitchen with grill. The guest house here spans 1,314 square feet with two beds, one bath, a kitchen, and a living room, but the former owner had it set up as a man cave. The space is decked out with a massage room, barber's chair, and pool table. All right, guys, so that's all I got on Rick Ross's homes. We've checked out his main estate in Georgia that was just used as the palace set in Coming to America, as well as the brand new mansion he scored in South Florida. After checking out the properties of Rick Ross, what did you guys think? Do you think his main mansion was a suitable palace for the movie? What was your favorite feature there? And did you like his new Florida home? Be sure to tell me down in the comments. I think my favorite feature of Rick's main mansion in Georgia has got to be the indoor pool and the ballroom. I've always wanted to live in a house with a ballroom. Be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments on there and getting to chat with you guys. We'll link you one of my latest videos. Never get out of bed again. It scarred me from my entire childhood. I still find it the scariest scene in the movie. Oh, hello, testing. I promise in a few minutes, I'm gonna look better. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you guys wanna see featured next on this channel. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.